Okay, decisions, decisions. Do you go for the Jeep Cherokee or the Jeep Grand Cherokee? Two terrific SUVs. We're gonna sort it out for you right now. And we're here with Dennis Freeman from Elmwood Auto Group, where you always get a great deal on Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. So am I right in thinking that you probably have a lot of customers who come in, you know, Cherokee, Grand Cherokee, help me out here, right? We sure do, John. Since the reintroduction of the Cherokee in 2014, a lot of our customers come in and want to know what's the difference between the Cherokee and the Grand Cherokee. Now, aside from the obvious, uh, these two vehicles are unique in their own way but they do share a lot of the same components and same features throughout the vehicle. Let's start with the Cherokee. The Cherokee is available in a four cylinder where the Grand Cherokee is only available in a six or an eight. So the Cherokee with the four cylinder paired with the nine speed automatic transmission allows you to get up to 30 plus miles per gallon on the highway. That's very good. It's very impressive for a midsize SUV. The Grand Cherokee with the Pentastar V6 and the eight speed automatic transmission gets up to 30 miles per gallon as well. Now you can also opt for the Hemi, more power and of course the gas mileage isn't quite as good. And then the Grand Cherokee also offers a 6.4 liter big Hemi in the SRT version. And some people want that. Absolutely, some people are looking for that. And, and with the SRT version, you get the best of both worlds. You have uh, 430 plus horsepower, all wheel drive, and an SUV. And there's really no other vehicle on the planet that offers that. If you're looking for towing capability, I would recommend the Grand Cherokee. If you're looking for gas mileage and maybe some city driving, I would recommend the Cherokee. The beautiful thing about both of these vehicles is you can start with the entry level model and still get them nicely equipped with features and uh, functions that people would expect in today's vehicles. And then you can dress them up all the way to what you'd expect in high end luxury vehicles with things like forward collision warning, adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring. There's even perpendicular parallel park assist. And oh, I, who needs that? Yeah, who Dennis? needs that Come in today's on. day and age, yeah. right? So it, with, with literally the push of a button, the vehicle will start scanning the side lane for any available parking spots, take your hands off the wheel, and all you gotta do is feather the gas, and the vehicle will actually parallel park for you, come to a complete stop, and it uses the front and rear park sensors to help assist with that. The biggest question is, do they drive any differently? And they really don't. Both share the same quadricoil suspension in each vehicle. So when you get in them, they don't ride like a, a typical SUV. And some SUVs on the market still offer rear leaf spring suspension, which is good for heavy payloads or pickup trucks, but not necessarily for families in SUVs. So you get a, a, a very nice ride, you get the great gas mileage, and of course, Jeep holds true to its four-wheel drive off-road capabilities in both the Cherokee and the Grand Cherokee. Both versions offer a Trailhawk Edition. The Trailhawk Edition gives you uh, an all-terrain tire, full undercarriage skid plates, front and rear axle lockers, and two extra inches of ground clearance because let's, they're still Jeeps, so they, they still true. need to have the off-road capability that our Jeep customers have, have come to love. You can equip a Cherokee the same way you would a Grand Cherokee. And a lot of people ask that same question. Can I get the same features in the Cherokee as I can the Grand Cherokee? And, and again, the answer is yes. You can get the heated seats, the leather seats, the heated steering wheel, backup cameras, touchscreen radio. Uh, again, everything you'd find in the Grand Cherokee and everything you'd find in, in your high-end luxury vehicles. Dennis, how do the Cherokee and Grand Cherokee lease out? They, that's a great question, John. I would have to say, 60 to 70 percent of our customers lease both the Cherokee and the Grand Cherokee. The reason is is both vehicles have won several of Kelly Blue Book's resale value awards so in turn the residual is extremely high and, uh, and, and they lease out very well. Now is a great time to get a fantastic deal on both the Cherokee and Grand Cherokee. We have a few 2016 leftover models with great deals. We have uh, a great selection of the 2017's on the ground and incoming. Dennis, thanks. So if you're looking for the Jeep Cherokee or Grand Cherokee, see Dennis Freeman and the gang at Elmwood Auto Group in East Providence. The Spring Clearance event is going on now at Elmwood, and Elmwood Auto Group is Dealer Raiders 2017 CDJR Dealer of the Year and winner of Dealer Raiders 2017 Consumer Satisfaction Award.